Thank you uh, for your introduction, uh, Senior Undersecretary Jose Faustino Jr. Oh, please uh, take your seat. The AFP Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Bartolome Baccaro, and the Major Service Commanders, outgoing Commanding General of the Philippine Air Force, Lieutenant General Connor Anthony Canlas, Sr., the incoming Commanding General of the Philippine Air Force, Major General Stephen Pareño, Pasay City Mayor Imelda Calixto Rubiano, my fellow workers in government, other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant day to you all. It is an honor for me to stand before you today as your Commander-in-Chief to preside over the Philippine Air Force Change of Command and Retirement Ceremony to commemorate the feats and triumphs of our outgoing Commanding General, Lieutenant General Connor Anthony D. Canlas Sr. and to witness the handover of command to our incoming Commanding General. On this occasion, we recognize the accomplishments of the Philippine Air Force under the leadership of Lieutenant General Canlas. We also extend our gratitude to him for establishing a more dependable and capable air force, that air force that protects now our airspace. Lieutenant General Canlas, allow me to extend my gratitude, my congratulations on your successful command as the 30th, 38th Commanding General of the Philippine Air Force. During your tour of duty, the country saw Philippine Air Force that is credible and responsive, made possible through intensive modernization efforts, improvement of our integrated air defense system, regular conduct of aerial intelligence and reconnaissance missions, conduct of humanitarian and assistance and disaster response, and the launching of Flight Plan 2040. I am proud and I am grateful to you, along with the members of the Philippine Air Force and the Armed Forces of the Philippines, for your invaluable efforts to secure our people and our country. Lieutenant General Canlas, I hope that your service to the country over the past years has given you a sense of purpose and fulfillment as a soldier and as a Filipino. As you embark on a new journey, Remain steadfast in your beliefs and pursue a path that empowers you. And finally, may you also spend more time with your friends, your family, who I am certain have longed to, for more of your time these past few decades. At this juncture, allow me to extend my heartfelt congratulations to our 39th Commanding General. I am confident that under your leadership, the Philippine Air Force will sustain its ongoing initiatives and achieve new heights in responsive service delivery for the country and for the people. Let me also laud the efforts of the valiant, valiant men and women of the Air Force for guarding the Philippine aerial domain, for assisting the delivery of basic services to Filipinos in close collaboration with other government agencies and even private stakeholders. I hope that under the leadership of our newly appointed commanding general, the Air Force will continue to strive for honor, for excellence as you fulfill your mandate to our country and to our people. Through your collective efforts, we will attain our goal of creating a world-class Air Force that keeps the peace and contributes to our national development and regional security. Be assured, Maganda yung sinabi na yon ng ating Pangulo. Ano? We will attain a world-class Philippine Air Force. Eh sana mangyari po talaga mula po sa kasalukuyan hanggang sa 2028. Eh kahapon o nung nakaraang araw, nung nagdiwang po ng ika-87 anibersaryo ang Armed Forces of the Philippines, bahagya pong nagpakita ng kwersa ang Pilipinas doon po sa pamamagitan ng paglipad ng mga sa sakayang panghimpapawid nga ng Philippine Air Force. At sana ang mga kapasidad po na yan ng Philippine Air Force ay madagdagan pa 
sa hinaharap. Alam nyo, parte din po iyan ng modernization program eh, ng Armed Forces of the Philippines. Pero alam naman natin na ang idea na yan hindi naman po nagsimula sa nakarang administrasyon lamang. Bagkos ito po ay nag-originate sa ama po ng ating Pangulo na si dating Pangulong Ferdinand Edralin Marcos Sr. Okay, tuloy po natin ang sinasambit po dito ng ating mahal na Pangulo. That this administration remains committed to the modernization of the Philippine Air Force and the entire armed forces of the Philippines. I therefore ask you to dedicate to remain dedicated to your duties and to continue to work closely with this administration as we build a safe, secure, peaceful country for the benefit of all Filipinos. Maraming salamat at mabuhay ang hukbong himpapawid at sandatahan lakas ng Pilipinas. Maraming salamat po. Thank you. Okay. So far, yan po ang uh, isa sa mga good news. Ano? At kanina, tinalakay na po natin yun. Napakaraming mga pinagagagawa ng ating uh, pinagagagawa. Ano? Paano hindi maganda yung salitang ginamit ko? Eh? Mga nagawa ng ating kasalukuyang administrasyon na ikinabibiter lalo nitong mga bashers ng ating mahal na Pangulo. Hindi nila matanggap eh, natapos na ang panahon nila at panahon na po ngayon ng Pangulong Bongbong Marcos.